Hi, good day, folks. Um, nearly again. If you were following me on my last video, I was kind of highlighting a little bit about backyard gardening. And trust me, in these um, challenging economic times, you won't regret it, right? So, I just want to go through a few other things that probably missed. Starting with mangoes. Alright, mangoes is quite common in the tropics here in Trinidad. Okay. And um, right now this is I'm under the Julie mango tree. Let's gonna share a little bit about mangoes with you. Um mangoes are high in antioxidant. They improve digestive health. Eating ripe mangoes, trust me, you'll never have constipation or diarrhea. It improves hair and skin health. Mangoes are packed with nutrients and vitamins. It also has anti-cancer effects. You know, I recall as a little boy growing up, when mangoes were in season, we never wanted what mommy cook, eh? Yeah, that was back then. Alright, so just going over some other stuff that um, we have in the backyard here. You know, we have um, we have a lime tree here. And we have some plants in our backyard that sometimes we take for granted because we just use them as seasoning and maybe they have a lot of medicinal value. And we have here, um, this one is called uh, lemongrass. Alright. Lemongrass, also known as fever grass or citronella grass, can treat the following cold, fever, high blood pressure, di digestive tract spasms, convulsion, vomiting. It is also used as a mild astringent to kill germs. It prevents the growth of bacteria and yeast. However, research has shown that um, you know pregnant women should avoid this just to be on the safe side. All right. So we're going on to our next plant that um, you know we use it as a season here in Trinidad, but it also has a lot of medicinal value, and it's called oregano. You know, oregano loaded with antioxidant. Excellent source of fiber, vitamin K, manganese, iron, vitamin E, tritoplan and calcium. Some people ask, um, which way is it more potent? Is it dried or green? However, research has shown that um, the green leaves are more potent. The dry leaves, however, it's a secret ingredient for those who make pizza. You can ask the Italians, they will tell you that. All right, we're moving over to our next one here. Uh, it's called uh, vovine, vovine. It's kind of noticeable by those um, purple flowers at the top there. Vovine plant. People call it ven ven in Trinidad. Um, it's good to treat headaches, general aches and pain, insomnia, digestive dysfunction, Upper respiratory tract symptoms, urinary tract infection, and depression and anxiety. It is used by mom, moms who are having um, baby and they're having problem um, to stimulate lactation. Uh, trust me, my wife would have used this when we had our first kid, and um, wow, that milk was just flowing. You know, at least this was my my experience. The other one here I want to touch on um, for a bit is um, something called pudina thyme. All right, we call it thyme leaf. We use it as a herbal season here as well in Trinidad. Um, it it is used to treat respiratory tract ailment and it helps reduce mucus and phlegm from your respiratory tract and clears your sinuses. It promotes Sweating and help reduce fever, gives relief from stress and anxiety, beneficial in providing relief from osteoporosis 
and arthritis. It boosts the immune system and it helps fight digestive and urinary disease. So it's good to know that you know we have um, herbs right in our backyard that could be of so much of medicinal value because who wants to go in the hospital in this present time with this pandemic ongoing. So I thank you for listening and um, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.